Stranger Things caught people's attention with a whole different concept of some monsters predating on a town. A girl with psychokinetic abilities, government conspiracies, and made us feel creepy which caught our attention. Today, we are going to be talking about the top 10 Stranger Things plot holes that you never noticed. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Celeb Mania. Make sure you stay until number 1, as you don't want to miss the gates which left a lot of people questioning as to why the gates were reopened in Season 3 when it was closed earlier in Season 2. Number 10. Hopper Led Away In Season 1, Hopper enters the secret facility of scientists that are exploring the Upside Down. The team of scientists discovers Hopper by looking at security footage, and Hopper manages to reach the basement, where there is a gate to another dimension. They catch him and let him off by putting him back in his house on the sofa, making him think it was just a dream. But Hopper finds the microphone which was attached. In Season 2, Eleven's mother enters the facility to save Eleven, but she is punished badly. What we fail to understand is that Dr. Brenner, who is so cruel, allowed Hopper to get away with information about the facility and their study about examining another dimension. But not Eleven's mother? It doesn't make any sense, especially as Hopper was the sheriff who could link the Russian scientists to the kidnappings. With Will's disappearance being a big concern in the town, and Hopper investigating it, we can't get our heads around thinking why they let Hopper go so easily. Number 9. Forgotten Dart In Season 2, Eleven leaves a demagogue corpse at the Byers' house. While she hurries up to close the gate with Hopper and Joyce, Nancy and Jonathan try to burn the shadow monster out of Will. The rest of the kids and babysitter Steve stay behind. Before they head out, Dustin gets Steve to help him clear the stuff out of Joyce's fridge so they can store the demagogue inside. It was preserved as an evidence to prove the Upside Down exists. There has been no mention of Dart, who was put into the fridge in any of the seasons after this. How long was it going to be in the freezer? Or did they forget about it? This has left the viewers with a lot of questions about the future of the demagogue corpse. Number 8. Blood Taking Us Everywhere It was an understood fact that the monster was attracted to blood. It shows Barb after she cut her finger at Steve's house and indulged on an injured deer. With several other instances like when Jonathan cut his hand and Eleven killed all of the lab agents by making them bleed from their eyes, we saw that the monster was being drawn to blood. Will first runs into it in the middle of the road by Hawkins' lab, which then follows him to his house and into the shed where he's taken into the Upside Down. In Season 2, when Will was followed by the creature, he had neither injured himself nor was he bleeding and was still being a target. We can't but stop ourselves from asking some questions around Will Byers. Why did the Demogorgon choose to take Will when he wasn't bleeding? Is there something special that he had, which the other boys didn't? Joyce mentioned that he was a sensitive kid. Did this make him more unsafe at the Upside Down? Or were there some hidden powers in him which only the Demogorgon knew of and not us? Then why did it target Joyce in her own home, and Nancy in the woods when there wasn't a drop of blood in any of them? We were all stuck with this blood theory all this while, and can't make sense of this as we find ourselves lost in the blood game. Number 7. Did the others die? Will and Barb were taken into the Upside Down unwillingly, while Nancy went in while searching for whatever took Barb. When Hopper and Joyce found Will, they took off the helmets of their hazmat suits. Dr. Brenner makes a revelation that the air in the Upside Down is toxic. We never got to see how they concluded that the air in it was toxic. Now the question, which lingers over us, was what about the people who went in the Upside Down without protective gear, and those who got exposed to the toxic air? Unless everyone turns into monsters soon, they would have all been dead by now. The loops are endless here. Number 6. Will's Fake Body Will Byers had been missing for several days, which had left Hawkins and the entire community to come together, and they left no stone unturned in finding Will. When it was disclosed to the town that Will was dead, they came together again to mourn and had a funeral for him. In the second season, there was a newspaper clipping, the boy who came back to life, and Hawkins realized that Byers was back. What was the need to declare Will dead rather than being just lost in the first place? How did Hopper, Joyce, and others involved explain the fake body? Why wasn't anyone concerned about the fake body and why no questions were being raised about it? Since Hopper seemed to have made some sort of deal with the government to look for Will in the Upside Down, he was probably directed on what he could say to the people. How did the people who know about Eleven even explain it to their loved ones? Too many unanswered questions. Number 5. Missing Chester In the first episode of Stranger Things, Chester, the buyer's family dog, barked constantly at the shed in the garden, which directed Joyce and Hopper in the right path for their search for Will. In the second and third seasons, there was no sight of Chester and no mention of it anywhere. It was just not a dog, but a character who just disappeared. This has left viewers to wonder what happened to the dog, and anything mysterious about its disappearance 
that we got to watch out for in the coming seasons. Number 4. Russians Undercover Hawkins was being attacked by the residents of the Upside Down from an experiment carried out by the Russian soldiers. Russians were able to penetrate Hawkins discreetly, which was hard to believe. Here are some really big questions to answer. How did the Russians attack only the Hawkins, construct a huge drilling machine, and build a tunnel under a public place without a soul knowing of this massive project? How could such things so big be hidden? Number 3. The Unspoken Deaths In Season 3, we had the scene at the ward of Hawkins Memorial Hospital, where the entire floor was littered with dead bodies of doctors and patients. Nobody seems to be even talking about this gruesome incident, while the dark secrets of the Upside Down were kept so much under the wraps, where no one suspected anything hidden from the public. Eleven threw the monster out of the window and it exploded on the ground. But how are we supposed to believe that nobody other than Nancy and Jonathan noticed this, but not anyone else? How could such a big incident go unnoticed in Hawkins? Number 2. Will's Survival Technique Will Byers was stuck for more than two weeks in the Upside Down. There was neither water nor food for him to survive. And with Dr. Brenner's revelation that the air in the Upside Down is toxic, we just can't stop wondering how Will managed to stay alive. Surviving without food or air is quite a miracle, we must say. Number 1. Other Gates, Master Gate, and Dimensions Let us examine the gates here. In Season 1, the Demogorgon used and created multiple gates to break into the real world. Here are some scenes to help us understand the gates better. It tore through Joyce's wall. It emerged from the trees. It broke through the middle school wall before the final battle of Season 1. And Eleven re-emerged from the same gate later. Here are some thought-provoking questions. When the original gate did not close, how did the other gates close on their own? We have realized that there are other Demogorgons in the Upside Down. Why didn't one of them use their very own gate to break through between Seasons 1 and 2? In Season 2, Eleven closes the gate to the other dimension with her powers, which led us to believe that she accomplished this huge task and the Mind Flayer was gone. But in Season 3, we saw that the gate is reopened by the Russians. How could they decide to close and reopen the gate from time to time? While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. We'll see you there.